Recent visual leaks indicate that the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck may feature the polarizing yoke steering wheel previously used in the Tesla S and Y models. Additionally, there are some notable updates regarding the usage of stainless steel and production timelines. Please join us in this video as we carefully examine these leaks pertaining to the highly anticipated Tesla Cybertruck. Yoke Steering Wheel During a recent podcast appearance on Ride the Lightning, with Ryan McCaffrey, Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Holzhausen, refused to comment on reports that the company is exploring the possibility of introducing the yoke steering wheel to the Cybertuck. A number of rumors have indicated that the yoke steering wheel could be a standard option on the Cybertruck. Holzhausen's hesitation stems from the company's challenges in the past few months after introducing the yoke steering wheel on its Tesla S and Y models in 2021. Since then, the company has faced criticism and backlash, some of which are justified. Yoke steering wheels, also known as U-shaped or D-shaped steering wheels, have recently become popular, but some drawbacks exist. From a safety perspective, yoke steering wheels raise some concerns. Traditional round steering wheels are designed with safety in mind and provide a larger surface area for drivers to grip in the event of an accident. On the other hand, Yoke steering wheels have a smaller surface area, which may make it more difficult for drivers to maintain vehicle control in emergencies. Due to this backlash, the company recently returned the traditional wheels to the models above, but it will be interesting to see whether it is reintroduced on the Cybertruck. Stainless steel design. Of all the numerous features that the Tesla Cybertruck will come with, it is the stainless steel being used for the car's body that has attracted much attention. Although stainless steel has not been used in a while by car manufacturing companies, the company is taking a huge bet. It is even confident, as expressed in an interview by the chief designer in an interview with CNBC last year. Without a doubt, stainless steel is well suited for a vehicle that handles rugged terrain due to its durability and resistance to dents and scratches. Before we move on, Please subscribe to this channel for all the latest news and updates on Tesla and the automobile industry. Cybertruck is ready for production. Although the truck has been in the works for a number of years, the final product is yet to be tested on the road. One of the reasons that have contributed to this is the company's desire to experiment with a number of ideas, as confirmed by Franz von Holzhausen. On the podcast, he stated that, we work consistently through the entire process and we're constantly working on every detail and the refinement of that. We learn things through the engineering phases and the manufacturing development phases that we can improve on. And so we do. The implication of this message is that we could see even more features or slightly tweaked features implemented as we get closer to the production or release date. Speaking of production dates, there are projections on when early and mass production could start for the Cybertruck, and we will delve into that shortly. Production dates. Early production of the Cybertruck is expected to begin in the first part of 2023, with mass production potentially happening closer to the end of the year. The delivery of Hydra Giga Press machinery to the Giga factory in Texas. The manufacturing location for the truck has increased the anticipation for the start of production. It's clear that Tesla is about to produce one of the greatest EVs. After several years of delay due to complex design challenges and supply chain issues, the company has made the necessary adjustments to ensure the truck is ready for production. Our next video provides some invaluable insight into the Tesla semi-truck. It is unbelievable!